What's up my Koop Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to another episode of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got over to Toad Town with Mario and Luigi and Baby Mario and Luigi, and we did all the little mini stuff until we got to this point where we had all of the characters go ahead and split off into the two different groups. Well, now we've got the adult Mario and Luigi, and we're going to head down to this southwestern side here, of course, dodging as many enemies as we can or at least having me cut them off screen. So you guys don't have to watch all of that as we play through a lot of different characters. Okay, so let's go over here to the west side. Looks like we are gonna need the babies to get through that section, but I don't, I can't access them yet. Here's another one of those hop ips. I don't remember what they're called. Yeah, oh, just, just dodge, huh? Yeah, well, wasn't able to jump on top of them, but we'll be able to get a quick fight. All right, there's a bazillion. Pieces of crap jumped around down there. You know, we'll have to go ahead and take those. Luigi, get up there. Come on, Luigi. Help me out, man. Some red shells there. I don't see any beans or anything like that that we need to uh, dig up. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and fight this guy. I just realized I wasn't wearing my headphones. <laughs> Oops, gotta put those on. The reason I forgot is that one of my headphones are a little messed up right now, and one of the ears isn't working correctly. I only hear audio out of the uh, oh, oh, out of this side, so it's a little messed up. Now, how do I get up here? I don't, I don't think I can spin up that high. I think I need the babies. I, I need the babies back to that other section anyway. So let's keep going with Mario and Luigi and clearing out the enemies this way. Oh my gosh, there's so many dudes here. This area has a couple of the purple mushroom thingies around here. So let's go ahead and try spinning across to them and seeing where they take us. Uh, can I go this way? Is there anything there? Oh, nice. There's something here. Smash eggs. Good stuff. Anything this way? Mario one. Oh, like 100 coins there. Okay, so... That was some good stuff. Is there anything else over here? No, it looks like that's everything. Okay, let's not go to the east just yet. Let's go down here to the west, the left side. And see if we can find anything in here. That, that's reserved for the little baby Mario and Luigi again. Another couple of enemies for me to fight. And is there anything else in this area? Nope, I don't want that. I, well, okay, whatever. I did that. Oh, after getting shot right there, I did eventually <laughs> level up. Man, there's been so many guys to kill out this way. It's been, it's been kind of crazy, but at least I'm getting some good stats. That's pretty good, the POW there. Looks like the POW is what I will be doing. Three, two, bam! Plus <laughs> two, I don't want that. At least Mario and Luigi both leveled up here. Man, Luigi's power is significantly less than Mario's, huh? And he's looking at probably an HP up. Oh, no, the power's looking pretty good, too. So is defense. What happened, Luigi? How come you're so good at all these things? Speed is good, too. Bam! Ah, plus four. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so Mario and Luigi both leveled up there. I was only able to take out one set of enemies there. There are uh, some more. Let's go ahead and fight these guys down here, and I will show off any new moves that they have learned. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait, was there not an enemy down there? Oh, that was the guy I killed. All right, let's just fight these two. Yeah, this has got a group of three. So let's go ahead and see if they use any new moves that I haven't shown off so far. I'm gonna go ahead and use some smash eggs to do some damage to these guys. Maybe won't kill them all, but we haven't seen smash eggs in a while. So as long as I remember to hold instead of press, it's kind of weird because most of the game uses pressing buttons and this one wants you to hold. Oh, and I failed that one. Oh, well. So one of the moves right there those guys have is that they can go up and heal. These guys stick their foot up which one they're stick their foot towards which one they're gonna go attack. So it's pretty easy to see. If they fly low and then they'll swoop around and you'll have to jump over both. If they go from high down, you gotta jump with the first character and then let the other one stay on the ground. So this guy in the bottom, he uh, might go ahead and attack us too, but Let's go ahead and smash it, because I might kill off the two guys in the back there. Don't have to deal with any of them anymore. That was a little early. Ooh, I stunned him. Never mind, all the smash eggs just like going straight at that guy. I love how this is like just some kind of awesome soccer move going on here. Ooh, and I got a copy flower out of all that. He's gonna go heal him in the front. 
or nine. That wasn't very nice or helpful. Love bubble. You can go ahead and die. Oh, he's not. I thought he was closer to death than that. Well, he's gonna keep healing this guy, and then he get, then he gets to attack two turns. You want to jump right when they start doing their animation to come downwards because they come pretty fast. There's a lucky 90. I don't know if we saw this move before, but all he does is he pulls up the flags. You need to hop for the character that he puts the flag up for. If you fail, he throws the flags at both of them, and it's very hard to dodge. Uh, so you're better off just getting it correct the first time. The other, one of the other moves they have is they put them both in orbs, the blue orbs. You got to hop out of it. Uh, if we see another one of those, I'll show off that fight as well. But you can see they take kind of a while to do it. I have switched back a little bit to my cure badge. I did realize the benefit of it. I was going through a lot of mushrooms after failing the attacks. Especially when you kind of first run into the enemies again after a while. You don't remember what they all do exactly. They come and uh, beat you up. And you, the cure badge is helpful. Because you take some damage at the start. But as you get better at dodging the attacks, the, they slowly kind of heal up. You don't have to waste so many items. Anyways, speaking of items, we just got new clothing. The para slacks. Light slacks with paracoupa wings that give a tremendous speed boost. So let's see here. For Mario... Wow, wow, look at that speed boost. Holy crap, that's so much. An 80 speed boost. Also raised defense with a minor drop in power. I think these are potentially very worth it. Maybe Luigi can't wear it. Luigi could. Luigi's speed is super garbage and his power is not that great. It gives a 15 power drop, which is actually, I take that back, that's quite significant. But it raises defense 15 and speed's incredibly high. I think this could go straight to Luigi and it'd be worthwhile. He's very slow as it is, so I would be happy to have Luigi be faster, do a little less damage, but be a little more tanky. He's already kind of the tank of my team, so good stuff. I like those. Like I said, we can't go in that building yet because we don't have the babies, so let's make our way across to the east side now that we've covered off this west side. Looking at that mini-map in the top screen, we might be getting close to... Yep, okay, we are done with this section of Mario and Luigi. Let's go ahead and grab the babies now and do the baby section. Now this will be a little bit harder because their attacks are weaker and I'm sure I have to fight all the same enemies. So it could be a challenge. Oh wait, I don't fight the same enemies. I gotta fight that guy. Let's see if we can hammer him though. Oh. Got him. Smacked him in the head. Oh, it's just one of these dudes. Oh, it doesn't stun it. Okay. That's not a big deal. We can go ahead and do this quick fight. Because he's stunned, I don't need to actually use my green shell, though I suppose I could. But 44 damage is pretty nice. In fact, Luigi might be able to kill him here, baby Luigi. Oh, he's probably really close. Oh, but it didn't matter. Because he was stunned, he didn't even get a chance to attack. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. 100 experience points for us. I wonder if those guys are going to level up soon. I kind of kind of hope they will. They're a little weak. Nice. Some houses to explore. Now, these guys can actually do it. Mario and Luigi just had a look very sad as they couldn't do anything. Switch that. Ultra drops. Some coins and some Luigi coins as well. I don't see anything else. So let's go ahead and get out of here. These houses tend to have some stuff here and there, so they're pretty useful for exploring. All right, looks like some enemies I need to face. Let's go ahead and do that. Over here is an item block for more red shells. Always nice to go ahead and grab. And we can dive underneath. Oh, wait. Was there any... I wasn't even looking hard. Was there any beans? I don't think there was any. I didn't see... Yeah, okay, okay. I didn't see any, but I wasn't also looking that hard for them. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies out that way. I don't want to go. Can they hit me underground? Wait, can I get them like this? Oh, no, I can't. Dang it! Up on this side, there is some smash eggs to grab. I don't see any beans still. I've been looking, but I haven't found any yet. Hopefully, I'm not missing any. And a super drop that way. Now we can go ahead and head down this way. Oh, we have found... Wait, what's this path? Oh, there's a bean. Oh, found it. That's kind of hard to see. The X is there. And this should go ahead and meet us up with Mario and Luigi. Let's get on the platforms. A, B. Oh, I think Luigi hit both of them. Nice, Luigi. You did it. I'm not sure you're supposed to be able to cheat like that, but... You did. So that's good with me. All right, and finally... We can meet up with the adults. Now the doors have opened. Let's go ahead and grab the babies. Hello, babies. 
Long time no see, indeed. Oh, there's a nice bean down there. Star Hill visitors, enter the lower left blue pipe. Star Hill Tourism Brew. All right. Well, we're not going to enter that just yet. We have some stuff to do. First, I'm looking for some beans. Wonder what that thing does. Let's go ahead and hit that real fast, actually. See if it does anything cool. Just opens the gate. Leads to a warp area. I don't know where this blue pipe goes. But before I go down that blue pipe, let's go ahead and head back up towards the left area that Mario and Luigi the adults came down. Uh, same, same thing it said before. Because there was some baby stuff to do, and I didn't have the babies. Hopefully none of the enemies are back. That would be most sad. I also wasn't looking too hard for beans. I don't think there was any, but we can keep an eye out for anything like that. No, I don't see anything over here. All right, so first we're going to head down to this lower left area before making our way up north again a little bit. Just checking for beans. Kind of annoying. Well, it's kind of annoying how you have to keep looking for them, but they do give you some good rewards if you go shop at Fawful's shop. All right. Let's go in here and uh, look around, shall we? So, a coin, not really worth it. That's worth. And some mushrooms. All right, let's go see what's on the left side, or the right side over that way. We have to just dig out here and go around there. And there's the bean. Oh, <laughs> found you. And Luigi's block. Nice. So a lot of this stuff's kind of annoying to do, but, you know, it's good to go ahead and get it done. It gives you all the items you need in the game so you can progress on forward. Okay, we'll make our way up here to the top left side now. There was another house that needed to be ransacked. I mean, looted. I mean, what do I mean? First, we need to throw the babies into this section right here. So we're going to go ahead and do the spin. Up you go, babies. Wait, they can't reach it. Oh. Most peculiar. How do I get up there if they can't reach it? Do Mario and Luigi have to jump from over here or something? Oh. They can just do that. Well, I'll be darned. I did not know they could do that. Okay. We'll go. I didn't know we could make it from there. Well, silly me. That's... That was the easier way of doing that. <laughs> I thought you had to have the babies. Well, I liked my method. It just didn't work out. All right. Well, whatever. I still need the babies anyways. Go ahead and do this, so... No problem. Green shells. A couple of coins here. We don't have a ton of coins. We're at 6,000, which isn't a lot in this game. We got Dynamic Badge A. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now that we got something new here. Dynamic Badge A. Should be at the bottom. Massively boost attack item power, but use four items per attack. What the heck? So it's the Dynamic Badge, but even better. Man, if you're going to go all out, might as well go all out. Huh? That's pretty darn cool. Didn't know that existed. Four items per attack. I, You know, I could see that being useful, especially as we have so many items and money in the game. You go ahead and just say, like, yeah, screw it, man. I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm going to use my attack items and just beat people up. This is what I meant to look at. Yeah, I can use my attack items. Four would be a lot, though. That's not useful against random enemies. At all. <laughs> against bosses, yes. Against random enemies, no. So, I might throw that on just to have something new to try out. Sounds interesting to me, man. I, I like that idea. All right, here's another bean. And I don't know if there was anything else needed to do. I'm just going to go ahead and check real fast with the babies. I think that was everything that was required of them on that side. Because they were available up here before. So, I think we are good. All right, we will leave the babies up there. There was a switch way down here at the bottom that I could grab all of them back together again. So save myself a little bit of time. Save us a little bit of time. And now we can go ahead and... I wonder if we should go down that blue pipe or go to that warp zone. Probably down the blue pipe first. 
just to check it out. So let's bring the babies back. Hello, babies. Welcome back. Welcome back to your older adult selves. And let's see what's down the blue pipe. Well, we seem to have arrived on Star Hill. The Cobalt Star continues to become very agitated. Whoa! Hmm. I say, danger, alert, danger! The Cobalt Star has become so disturbed that I'm rapidly losing control of it! We must summon this hill with the greatest of speed! The source of the Cobalt Star's irritation must be somewhere in the immediate vicinity! Well, you could say that, bro, but... I'm in back that way, check out the warp pipe, just, you know. I, that looks like, this might be the way out, actually, this warp pipe. So maybe it's not what I need to do. But... Actually, let me hit the save first and then jump in the warp pipe. Oh, yeah, these are good ideas that Koops is having right now. That way, when this is not the right thing to do and the whole game starts, like, crashing on me and failing, we can at least, uh, you know, I can at least restart. <laughs> All right, let's do it. In the warp pipe we go. Where does this take us? Does it take us back home? Take us somewhere new, different, exciting? See, I don't think we want to do this until we do the actual Star Hill first, but this brings us back to the present. Okay, probably not what I wanted to do. Oh, it brings us down in the sewers. Okay. So now yeah, now we're down in the sewers where Fawful is, but this is not where we want to be. Okay, okay, just checking. So now we know how to escape and get back home. And actually, we can check Fawful and see if we have enough beans to, I don't know, buy anything good. But I think we're probably okay on stuff, so... Let's head back into Toad Town. And now we can start climbing up Star Hill. I figured it warped us back to the present, but it's just good to just good to check, you know. Alright, well enough lollygagging around. Let's head on to Star Hill. Especially cause Stuff was about to blow himself. Cause he's uh you know full of crap! <laughs> Nah, just kidding, guys. Guys, Cobalt Star is breaking him from the inside. That must be an awful, horrible death. He's just like, being ripped up from his insides like an alien, you know? Okay, I don't see much around here except this area looks really pretty and unique. I don't know what landscape looks like this, but that's okay. Let's go climbing up. What the heck is that thing? Is that Jinx? That looks like Jinx. I'm going to attack it. I have no manners. Wait. What are these creepy hand things? Wait, Luigi's fashion now. Hand fakes. Oh, what a what a unique name. Boom! Hit him with the hit him with the jump. I don't know what these hand fakes do, but hopefully a jump combo is good enough to kill it. It is. Wait, it's bomb. Oh, what's it doing? Where's it going? Ow! That's not cool. I must have done it a little too early. But dang it, man! Don't throw bombs at me. So he can throw any kind of fake he wants, and it does the thing, same as real damage? Huh. Interesting. Interesting, indeed. I don't know if I want to fight those guys too much. It could be a problem. Wait, more you crap? No! Go away, Hop Hip. Okay, let's go ahead and fight these dudes. Get rid of them all as they attack Luigi from behind. We are just gaining experience points like crazy, defeating all of these enemies back here. I will go ahead and show another battle with the hand fake. I, I can see right there. Faking to pretend to be a Goomba. I see you, man. All right, what can we do here? We got rid of the Goomba one. The Goomba one. Why would you want to be, if you can hold any sign and be any kind of damage, why would you want to hold the Goomba one? Just asking the hard questions here. Ah, uh, not the bomb again. What? I thought I got the timing right. That's pretty uncool, actually. I could use items, but these aren't really that strong. Wait, how, how do I know who's going to throw it at? Pretty uncool, man. Oh, I thought the sign might maybe would take the damage for him, like a substitution doll, but it looks like that's not the case. So you can still kill him through... Their item. That's they're kind of annoying. I haven't really figured out exactly how to defeat them just yet, but I'm guessing every sign does something different. No. All right, let's let's defeat, defeat these guys. Oh no. Oh, as that last battle ended, another one ran to my butt, and 
I got into another battle, but at least Luigi got right back up. He won't let a little thing like a balloon up his butt turn his day upside down. I mean, who, who really honestly wants a balloon up their butt? Clearly no one, but Luigi doesn't seem to mind too much. He's just like, yeah, whatever, I'll brush that off. Not a big deal. All right, here's that low flying attack I talked about. Oh, he actually goes around in a circle, but I got the timing right, and he actually hit us both. What's going on here? What's going on here? What the heck is that? Oh, he's pretending to fly like one. I see. I got the timing right and jump over it. Uh, this hand fake's super annoying. I'm also kind of interested in what his other attack patterns are, but... We'll check them out later. These things are too easy to dodge for me to not leave open. I can just go dodge them and uh, heal. They're also kind of like busted Kirby's. I don't really know. See, here comes Mario. He's... That's such an easy attack to dodge once you get the hang of it. As soon as they start flying down, you jump. That was a little early, but <laughs> normally it's quite easy to do. Take out Love Bubble over here and work on the other one. Luigi's four health away from being full health again, so that's where you can see how the health thing comes useful. Even if I fail a dodge like I did earlier, I can get all the way back to full health. Now, normally I'd have to use a mushroom to heal 20, at least, because I took 15 damage there. You can see how that adds up pretty quickly. So it's definitely a pretty good badge, I think. I, I fail a lot, so I think it's good having a badge like that that can kind of save me a little bit, as opposed to uh, always relying on my items. Are we close to the top yet? There's just, what? oh, it's Shy Guys, huh? Let's fight the Shy Guys. Can I even hit them? Wait, I hit, I hit Mario? Oh, I guess Mario got hit. That one's got a one timer. I'm guessing he's got something in store for me. I can't use Rose attacks. I thought maybe the propeller would hurt me. Oh, this could be bad. Don't hit, don't go towards Mario. Or hit Mario in the face, that's cool. Was that 10 plus 23? Oh, he picks it back up, okay. That's a pretty uncool attack. I've never seen it before and I don't want to ever see it again if possible because I don't like it. The fact that they can drop it down and do like 33 damage is kind of uncool. Oh, you can just hit him with that. Oh, <laughs> wrecked. Actually, if you get the timing right, that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Smack it back up there. Take him down. Bye bye, shy guy. Yeah, right. So, is that everything? It looks like we have a little bit of stuff to do coming up. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. After this, we can go ahead and explore around with the babies and the adults. So thanks so much for watching this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, karate chop that like button as it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, wait. GG. <laughs> GG.